Do you build charts in Microsoft Excel? Do you build a lot of the same chart in Excel? Well, here's a way to really streamline your chart making. It's called the default chart and it's really easy to set up. And if you have to do a lot of the same kind of charts, it's going to save you a ton of time. So give me a couple of minutes and let me show you how to create a chart using the default chart feature in Microsoft Excel. Using the default chart feature in Excel is as easy as selecting your chartable data and then pressing the F11 key on your keyboard. F11 builds the default chart, which in my case you can see is a column chart, and it provides you with the chart on its own sheet tab. Now you can move that chart by just moving up to the chart tools ribbon and then over to move chart or you can right click on the chart and then choose move chart. When I select move chart, I can then move the chart to its own sheet or I can move that F11 created chart to any other sheet as an object on that sheet. Great for dashboards, by the way. If I click the drop down, here are my other sheets. I'll add this to the column chart and click OK. And now that chart is an object on my column chart sheet. Now, a column chart is great, but what if I want to do a lot of pie charts and I'd like to use the default chart feature for that? Well, you can do that just by going to your data, selecting anywhere in the data, and then moving up to the insert tab and then charts. In the bottom right corner, you'll see the small arrow. And if I click that arrow, it brings up the chart gallery and shows all of the different chart types as well as suggested charts. Under all charts, I can then choose the chart type that I'd like to use, for example, a pie chart, and then right click any of the small icons here at the top. And when I right click them, I'll choose a simple pie chart in this case, and then choose set as default chart. Once I choose the default chart and set my chart, now I get a default pie chart. And if I click OK, I get a pie chart. Now, if I'd like to build other pie charts also using that F11 method and get pie charts for those, I can simply select anywhere in the data or select the data and press the F11 key. When I do, I now get pie charts and I have all the same options that I do for any other chart that I create in that I can add data labels or titles or even a legend to the chart. So that's a quick look at the default chart feature in Microsoft Excel. See, I told you I'd save you some time. So I hope you find that useful. Check back again for more tips. Thanks for joining me, and I'm Wayne.